Welcome to my channel, Living Linux. October 2022, I tested a beta of Fedora 37 on the Raspberry Pi 4. And now we have Ras uh, sorry, Fedora 38 on the Raspberry Pi 4. So as you can see here, it's the Raspberry Pi 4. And we have the graphics driver that comes with Vulkan 1.2. We're on Wayland and we have kernel 6.3.4. Well, one of the things I noticed is that the updater didn't work properly. So before it said that I had some updates and you can click to do the updates and restart, but nothing really happened. So, but in the end, um, you can do it from the terminal. So, if you do sudo dnf update, then it will uh, update properly. So I'm not really sure why it doesn't work from uh, the GUI. But at least there is a, a workaround. Uh, well, it looks like there are some more updates, but yeah, for now I'll skip them. And I also overclocked the Raspberry Pi 4, as you can see here, maximum frequency, two gigahertz. And so here's the video from October and to overclock, you can add these three lines to config.txt that is on one of the partitions of the image. Well, unfortunately, YouTube playback is still not hardware accelerated. Um, so, but um, with Firefox, they want to use the video for Linux memory to memory hardware accelerated video decodes. And if I'm correct, then I think it's going to come with Firefox 115. So as you can see, it was uh, recently pushed. So with Fedora 37, we had 30 frames per second with 500 fishes in the WebGL aquarium. So it looks like the performance went a little bit down because now we're at around, let's just say 24 frames per second. Perhaps the rendering is more accurate and 
yeah, perhaps that is costing a little bit more performance. Who knows? Um, so, yeah, the WebGL Aquarium is a little bit slower than it was before. And as I mentioned, uh, Fedora 37, that one came with the Vulkan 1.0 driver for the Raspberry Pi 4 and now with Fedora 38 we have the Vulkan 1.2 driver and that also means that we can start Ether SX2 uh, well emulating PlayStation 2 is still a bit too heavy for the Raspberry Pi 4 and well i think they have to do some really mad magical things to uh, make it happen and perhaps the uh, not so demanding games that is a possibility to play it um so here here i have i think it this was the latest one from end of 2022 And here you can see that we're also missing just one kind of instruction. So yeah, who knows if that instruction will be added with Vulkan 1.3, who knows? One of the things is, is that uh, I think the author, um, yeah, at the moment, all development has stopped. Uh, but I think he said in the past that the Raspberry Pi 4 is not really the target hardware for Ether SX2. And what I also notice here is that we don't have any sound. Uh, so back in October 2022, we did have sound. So I'm going back to an older version. And that this one um, does have sound. And I think it's a little bit faster uh, than when I tested it back in October 20, 2022. But it's not really uh, spectacularly faster. And yeah, it's definitely not fast enough to uh, play most of the games at full speed. So here in the bottom of the window you can see the frames per second counters. But I think for a Raspberry Pi 4 this is in a way actually quite impressive. Because the GPU is not that fast. So here you notice some frame drops.
So now we get this text effect and that's really killing the performance. And I've also seen it on other devices that this text effect, for some reason, it seems to be quite complicated. So I'm going to stop it here because yeah, as you notice, this really doesn't make any sense anymore. So yeah, from this limited test, um, I don't see any yeah, big improvements in performance, at least not with WebGL and not with Ether, Ether SX2 running with Falcon. Um, yes, but on the other hand, I don't think there is that many options left to get more improvements unless the developer of Ether SX2 um, wants to start again or perhaps um, that he will let someone else take it over but yeah as soon as um, Fedora 39 is available um, I already tried a nightly build but it didn't boot properly on the Raspberry Pi 4 so that's a pity but I'll, I'll keep an eye out on it and um, who knows what will happen in the future. So that's all for now. And I hope to see you again in my next video.